Hello and welcome to a new video. Welcome to a new video. Do I ever say that? I don't think so. <laughs> hello. What? How do... Okay, hello. <laughs> Today I'm here with a new video. That's what I am saying. Hello, welcome to a new video. Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today it's day number two in my Juvia Supplies week. And today we're going, I am going to play with the first Juvia Supplies palette I ever bought and it's the Zulu palette. This was also one of the first palettes I bought that is this crazy rainbow bright colors because I didn't, I didn't have much of this before so it looks like this if you have missed it and I think this is my favorite Juvia's Place palette and this week I am doing a video with all of my Juvia's Place palettes because I have seven. Soon I will have eight or maybe I already have eight. I don't know when this video is coming up. I don't know when this week is coming because I have to film, I want to film everything and then start to post them. And I have ordered my first eyeshadow palette for 2019 and I have ordered Tribe palette from US Place and I am so freaking excited to play with that. It hasn't arrived yet, I don't know when it will arrive. I took the EU standard shipping and I have no idea how long that takes from the States. So I am going to use the Sewell palette, longest intro ever. And this palette, I think this was meant to be a limited edition palette because this palette has no names like the rest of the Uvia's Place palettes has and I think that's a little good because their names is pretty hard because it's not words or names that exist in the Swedish language or the English so that's very hard for me. So we <laughs> would use this today and today I am doing one color look. I did a monochromatic look with the, a collab with Beth Jean and I picked bright pink for her. I can leave the video up here and also down in the description and I chose the bright pink for her and when I was have used it I was like I want to do something bright pink. So I'm doing a pink look today. So I'm only using these two colors on my eyes and yeah first I was thinking if I'm going to take like a green or blue with this but pink is more fun I think because I did a tea look in that collab with Betty Jean so yeah so I'm going to do a look with only these two pinks and I'm going to do my first ever real cut crease so I'm going to use my eyeshadow base but also a concealer and I'm using the Colourpop concealer because I don't like that concealer to use as a concealer so and I know that people use it for a uh, cat crease. So I'm doing that today. But I wanted to prime my eyes to have a good base for the bright pink. So I will start with this, the matte one. And I usually don't use this palette so much on my channel. I don't know why because it is one of my favorite palettes. And it was the first palette that I bought from US Place. I don't know if I said that in the intro because the intro was so freaking long. So this was my first introduction to Colorful and also to Juvia's Place and I... We have such a great relationship, me and Juvia's Place. And that's why I wanted to do it this week. Because it is one of my favorite brands. And I don't know if I'm going to wing this out a little bit. Should I or should I not? I usually don't do that. Because I have such hooded eyes. No. Stay in the safe zone. And I usually don't use pink that much because I don't like pink that much. And with this Sula palette, it, fe it feels like Almost everybody that has this palette love this palette and even though it's only nine colors it is so good. The only thing I don't understand is why they put a brown in it. I really... okay this went up so far. 
Okay, then I guess we have to do it on this side as well. My camera shut me off, I don't know why. I wish that Yuva's place would come out with Sulu... Sulu 2. 2. <laughs> Sorry, I spit at you. Um... I just wish that they did it because this brown I don't like it. If they had put a red in this, like the red they have in the festival palette, this would have been the perfect palette. But I really love if they did um, Sulu 2 and maybe did pastels instead. I would love that, but I guess that will never happen. Okay, so now I am going to try to do this cut crease and I have never done a real cut crease like this so I don't know how this will go I am a little bit scared but people do like that hello I'm a little person and then just okay this did fail right away because I got my <laughs> I got the concealer on my lashes and you just place shadows okay how should I solve this they usually don't need any help the shimmer ones with like a glitter glue or something because they are so amazing on their own but I'm like I have never done this cut crease thing so we'll try it and now I realize that you can't see shit okay my camera shut off again I don't know what's up with it it usually records for like 12 minutes and then shut off but now it was like five uh, I'm going to take this shimmer one and put it on the cut crease siloed my brush and my brush okay maybe I waited a little bit too long or has too little of a Concealer because this isn't the wowie I was thinking about, or maybe it's, it's because these colors are pretty similar. But this shimmery pink has a little gold sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> no, you can't see anything. I really wanted that to pop out, but it maybe does that. Okay, maybe I should have sprayed this because spraying is my new thing right now. Okay, and it didn't really matter. Maybe a little more gold came, but I think the gold is a little bit. I don't know. So okay, I will have it like that and then I'm going to cut my crease on the other eye. And this wasn't so hard. I can't say that because I fucked it up. I look like the evil little child in a horror movie. And now I got it in my lashes again. So do you have the Zulu palette and do you like the Zulu palette or do you hate the Zulu palette or do you want the so Zulu palette if you don't have it I don't know why it is too, so hard for me to say Zulu Zulu and in some way it feels like Uvia's pl place that they grow with the Zulu palette at least here in Sweden the 
they have really good shadows. They are some of my favorite shadows. And I mentioned this palette in my yearly favorites. In palettes, I can leave that up there. And I think this is pretty okay. I don't know if this qualifies as a real cut crease because they have the same color. And uh, yeah, I think I like it. Even though it's not a real cut crease. This is a very nice shade, it's pink. And it has a gold in it. So, okay. I'm going to take away the fallout so I have some fallout. It's not that much. And then we're going to do the under eyes. And I'm thinking of doing just my foundation. And then we put on concealer, blush and highlight it together. Because I want this to be like a monochromatic look. And also the lips together. So you can see... Um, everything together and I put it on together with you <laughs> so I'm going to uh, take away the fallout and fix my base and then I will be back but only my foundation and concealer and then I'll be back as so the base is on and I look so pale and dry right now and that's because I haven't spritzed my face with a fixing spray yet so I'm sorry for that but I think we will do with a base first so I have some contour and now I'm going to use a blush and I'm going to use the Milani Bella Bellini and I wanted to use this because it's a little bit like the eyeshadow pink but with gold tint but I have a problem with this baked blush from Milani I can't find a good blush brush for it so now I'm in my Further try with a new brush, and this is the Real Techniques Multitask brush because all the brushes I have used for this, it's like it just comes on in the chunk, or it's just like blush here, and then it's it doesn't work with any brushes I've tried. So, if you have a Milani blush, this baked blush, baked power blush, yeah, you saw which one it was. What brush do you use? Uh, because I don't know. My old trusty brush doesn't use for, doesn't work with this at all, and uh, yeah, that's hard on me so <laughs> to use this. And okay, this brush maybe didn't work, but it's like all the brushes I used with this blush. They pick up so much blush. Maybe this brush is good for this. Feels though that I have too much of blush. Okay, maybe this brush is good for this blush. But if you have something for Milana's blushes, please let me know. And as for highlight, I'm going to use my Moonshild. I use this <laughs> like every time. I'm going to use Pink Heart. It's my absolute favorite from this palette. And it's one of my favorite blush brushes, highlighters right now. And I really, really love this Moonshild kit. As you may know, I don't really like my Aurora kit. Uh, so first I was like, why the hell did I bought the Moonshild? But I really like the Moonshild. And this... Oh. But I think with these highlighters you have to work a little bit more really get them into the skin but I am okay with that because they sh comes off amazing on the skin and now it maybe got a little too much with a shiny blush and a pretty shiny highlighter but who the hell cares so something like that yet so now it's my nose is itching now again. It's always itching when I'm filming. 
back to the eyes. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to take this pink and have it on my whole lower lash end. And put my trusted little pink pen from Colourpop in boots on my waterline. And I always tap off my brush when I'm doing my lower lash. So I don't get fallouts on my face. And then I have to get into the wrinkles. So I need to look like a little fish. Okay, and finally now I will spritz my face. Um, because I am so dry right now. So I start to use this all night from Urban K, just because I wanted to um, empty it, so yeah. The only thing I don't like with this is the smell, and I don't like the spritzer that much, so I usually take my little thing. This one, I think this is from China. I think I got it from my mom when she were in China, like 12 years ago, and I found it in a drawer. and. <coughs> It's like I want to use it. Do you see this one? I had a side cut before and now it's like this. I have talked about this before and today I washed my hair today and I got like this crazy volume only in this not in my other hair and I'm a little bit disturbed by that. Okay now I maybe don't look so dry anymore. I'm going to put on my mascara and then we're going to do the lips together and then we are finished finished with this look. So now I have some mascara and for lips I am using a very pink liquid lip shit a liquid lip shit liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star and this is in the color Diva. And then I maybe going to use this gloss over. This is the Shine Lip Liquid from the body shop. It's the lemon sorbet. Sherbet. Is it sorbet or sherbet or is the two different things? Things? I don't know. And this has a little bit of gold to it, so it matches with the eyes and the highlight, the blush. I mean, so I really hope this will work. So my lips are dry as always. It's like a never-ending story. So I'm going to start with the lipstick. Lipstick. And I usually don't use Jeffree Star on my channel, but I really like his liquid lipsticks because they are really good. And it's like the only brand that like have every color. So something like this, and I usually don't use this lipstick because uh, I don't like this bright pink on my lips. I'm just going to let it dry down a little bit though, something like that. And I don't really like glossy lips because I don't like the feel, but it felt like this will soothe the look pretty good. So this is the finished look. This was the second video in my Yves Place weekend. I don't think I'm gonna eat. So this was the one color look, the monochromatic look with the pseudo palette and I only used two shades and I think it turned out okay, pretty good. I don't like this old pink thing but I like how it turned out so I only used these two and that was all. I really hope you like this. Oh my god, hair. So I really hope you like this video and that you are looking forward for five more Juvia's Place palettes videos. What is this even? So tomorrow I am not going to tell you what we are doing or which palette I will be using. But if you want to you can guess which palettes. 
maybe you don't even know which palace I have for UVS Place. I maybe have it down in the description and then take them out as I go. Maybe I should do that. But I really hope you liked this video and liked this week and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!